And welcome back, Mech Warriors. This is Old Bob 10025, and I'm going to get into the different designs of the old and the new of four different mechs of the Centurion, the Locust 1V, or, and the Centurion D, the, uh, the Hunchback of 4J, and the Atlas DDC. But first, I'm going to do the Centurion. So basically, the differences as far as quirks, what's going to be changing. Now, a lot of people have been asking, like, uh, what's going to happen to the mech quirks? They change the mech quirks for all the different mechs that are out there. So the Centurion normally got Ballistic Velocity plus 20%, uh, Ballistic Cooldown of 30%, LBX Spread 10%, Laser Duration 10%, Missile Velocity 10%, and LB10X Cooldown of 10%. That was on the normal stuff we play right now. Now when it does change, it's going to go into this. I'm going to go and show you here. The D only gets Ballistic Cooldown of 20%, which means it loses 10%. Uh, the missile velocity stays the same. Uh, the LB10X cooldown is going to be reduced down by five, so it'll be a negative five. It'll be five percent. And then the uh, I'm not getting into the armor all kind of stuff. I'm gonna just go into weapons themselves. Armor I'll do on another video basically. So so you're losing ballistic velocity of twenty percent, LB10X spread of ten percent, laser duration ten percent, and you're losing uh, five percent of LBX cooldown. So right now, just mount a LB10X on your mech. For the uh, for the uh, for the for the Centurion 90, which is designed for it, that's why you got it. That's why I use it. It's like an automatic shotgun, pretty much. You're gonna lose. Um, let's see, 20, 30. Oh boy, uh, 40. So you're gonna lose 15% off the bat. So when you go into the mech tree or to the skill tree itself, so let's go to mech lab here. So this is just this is just something I just threw up there. So don't don't go hunky dory like that's a bad build or anything. So just, just I just threw some stuff up there. So here we go. So basically, when I went ahead and and did the ballistics on this, you're looking at one. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, here we go. So I got the full tree of the LBX 10 cannon. Okay. So then that's going to add to the range of 10%, which uh, didn't have the range before. So it's going to add an extra 10% for the range. LBX spread, which is going to be even better than 10%, it will be 20% for the LBX, not for any auto cannons or anything else. So when you when you put an LBX cannon on your arm, this is what you're going to have. So it's going to, uh, let's see, I was on velocity, so yeah. So the velocity is going to be even better, which would be nice, you know. The cooldown is only going to be 5% more, so you're looking at 30% compared to 40% what it had than a module making an extra what is it forty percent? Yeah, I uh, it's forty two percent. So no, it'd be wow, it'd be fifty two percent. Sorry, <laughs> boy, I'm getting old here. But it'll be fifty two percent compared to now. It's only going to be thirty percent. So you're losing in your cooldown for the LB ten X to be a faster fire thing. So that's that's one of the things that that kind of like you're going to have to worry about when you actually have your mechs now. You really have to look at your old quirks and then look into what you can do for the new ones. I mean, it does add some cool stuff to it, so don't get me wrong. I mean, you're looking at um, the spread is much better. The range, you have an extra range on it, which the LB 10X, I didn't worry about the range, but the spread would be nice to go ahead and like make sure you get pinpoint shots. The velocity is going to be almost staying the same because you normally have ballistic velocity, but if you use an auto cannon, it be even better, though. So it's just you have to really work it and figure out which, what type of skills you want to have and what type of builds you want to have. So before you do anything... Play around with the play around like with your mech, and then decide. Okay, this is the build I want to have, or even look at different other builds from other YouTubers, or from the or from the forums themselves. Like I'll start popping out some builds, and I'm sure Snuggle Simon's gonna popping out some builds because it's gonna completely change the landscape. <laughs> so, um, okay, you are losing your missile velocity, but what I did is let's go to energy here. So now um, I normally only use pulse lasers like on this thing, like anyways. So you're gonna add. So I'm gonna add an extra um, um, pulse laser range, 10%. Laser duration, 15%. Cooldown, another 5%, and 5% heat gen. So that kind of blows, to tell you the truth, because I mean, cooldown 5%. Eh, eh, okay, that's okay. So if I, you know, if I had a module on there, it'd be an extra 12%, but I don't. So and also I use missiles. So I got the full tree of the missiles. So in essence, since I use like um, SRMs, I normally don't use LRMs on a, on a Centurion. But the SRMs, uh, you have a range plus 12.5%, spread negative 10, velocity plus 20, and cooldown negative 5. So you're going to lose 
on certain things, but you're going to gain on certain other types of things too. So this is a multi-build that you, you would probably have for something like that. So that's the Centurion 9D. Now that's the issue, like I said, that's the issue you have to really kind of configure when you actually do your mechs. Play around like crazy. Don't spin your stuff because otherwise you'll be screwed later on in your games. So, and, and and then the quirks of going from old to new, you're actually going to be better per se, depending on what type of stuff you have. I mean, I liked the Centurion 9, or the Centurion 9D, for the LB10X, because I was firing freaking every second, man. It was great. Now, I'm only going to fire, what is it, um, 30% instead of 52%. So, it's going to go down in my, um, in my ability to fire faster. But I'm gaining a lot more quirks to go help me out in the long run for different types of uh, weapon systems that I do have. And I still have 31 skill points to use for survivability, mobility, operations, infotech, like whatever you want to do. So, like I said, figure, figure out from there. Now, we're going to go to Locust 1V, okay? Normally on the old one, it has energy range plus 10%, energy cooldown 50%, and machine gun rate of fire 10%. So let's go to store here. We're going to go to the Locust. 1v where are you little bastard here you go uh let's see 1v do, 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 do. okay here, here we go <clears throat> okay so now that changed okay the cooling down is going to be 30 percent the energy rate of fire is going to be 10 percent so you're going to lose 20 percent on your cooldown so all the times I, I would pop a large pulse laser like in there or a ppc in there it's going to be not as good so this mech probably won't be you won't see it a lot more on the battlefield now with the skill with the skill points, and see I do have a, a locust here. Let me go check this out. Now with the skill points and everything, you're only gonna bring it up to 35%. So that's what you gotta really kind of consider when you go ahead and do these things. Here. Oh come on, where yet? <laughs> there we go. So uh let's see one V. I love the locust. It's a great mech, but unfortunately though, it's gonna be nerfed a little bit. So you are gonna look at a lot of different nerfs, but you're gonna look at um, yeah, ear large laser or whatever you have 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 inside there, and then the skills, the max you're gonna be able to do, go to firepower, energy. Okay, so we're looking at probably depending if we're gonna do a pulse laser or a PPC or a lar or a laser. It all depends what you want to do. So let's say I just want to put a PPC in there. I want to be I want to be hunky dory there. So we're gonna go just get everything on this. Let's purchase it with GXP. Here we go. PPC, cooldown, heat, heat range, blah, blah. Range, heat and cooldowns. So your maximum cooldown is going to be an extra 5%. So you're, you're looking at 35% instead of 50% or even 62% with a module from the old system. So you're losing out on some things, but you're gaining... EPC heat gen, uh, range, uh, and velocity, which is kind of nice. So, when you when you buy your mechs and everything, if you're if you're if you're a quirk type person, like kind of like I am, kind of like the quirks and and mech mech specific, and more of a lore type person, like enforcers with with uh, you know auto cannons and all that kind of stuff, and you know just all those different things, you're gonna have to really figure out what you want for the builds when you go make them, and then check out the skills, check out the um, you know check out the different stuff. So. You're losing you see your range is going to be the same your cooldowns can be uh, it's going to be less so it'll be only going to be 35 percent actually hold on what is it <clears throat> excuse me uh let's see normally it was what 20 percent it was 30 percent so it'll be 30 percent but you are getting velocity and you're getting heat gen so so that's kind of nice so it's gonna it's gonna even out per se and then also mo mobility operations infotech all concept it's gonna add even more stuff especially survivability <clears throat> Excuse me. So, like, skeletal structures, armor hardening, like, all that kind of stuff is going to add to it immensely. Now, I'm going to get into another video about how they developed this this uh, crazy skill system, which is, it should be linear. So, like, want to do, a, you know, AMS overloads, boom, I can do that, or armor hardening. That's a straight line instead of, I, I have to take fall damage. What the fuck? Excuse my language, but damn. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I don't need it. I don't want it. And same thing with, uh, Let's see here. Neck burst, heart breaks. Um, yeah, speed tweaks. I got to take all this stuff in order to get speed tweak of five. So, so mainly you're gonna have your locust is gonna mainly gonna be the lower chassis is gonna just just get everything from here. Then also they have like stuff like this. Let's see where is it at here. 
Yeah, if I want radar derp, I have to get target decay. Uh, you know, target link, um, or target retention, target decay, and all this stuff to get my maximum like radar derps of five in order to have that done. So I have to max out this freaking uh, skill tree, which I don't want to do. That's 27 points I got to go spend just to get radar derp five uh, or 25 points, just just depending on like what you want to do. And so, and then also like if I have ECM mech, the uh, is this it? No. Yeah, you see, like the same thing. I gotta go blow through target retention. Since the range is not too bad, that actually helps out, so I'm not too worried about that. But it's like, I gotta blow through, I mean, here goes one, two. I gotta blow through all that just to get this stuff, and then I get Seismic Sensor, so I have a bunch of different sensors and everything. Okay, sorry, I was just ranting there. Uh, I was just going on that, so. <laughs> okay, so so we looked at the at the Centurion D, look at the Locust 1V. Let's check out the, the Hunchback 4J. I don't want those. Not yet. I'll be doing those later, actually. So let's go to the medium X Hunchback 4J and the 4J. So okay, normally on the Hunchback 4J you have laser duration 15 or negative 15 percent, and missile velocity 10 percent, missile cooldown 20 percent, missile heat gen negative 10 percent, and LRM 10 cooldown uh, plus fit of uh, 15 percent. So it was mech specific okay it looks like on this one they actually do make a mech specific as far as lrm 10 cooldowns so the laser duration 15 so they actually saved that one missile cooldown 10 percent so that's um it went down by 10. each in went uh stayed the same you got a missile velocity which is kind of nice that that actually adds to it so that's kind of cool and then lrm 10 cooldown of 10 percent so you're looking at um 30 percent and 35 with the missiles so 35 percent like missile cooldown i liked it when they had 40 what like 46 or something no was it 47 uh, percent or something like that i forgot like what it was but it was it was it was it was great i was firing lrm 10 rounds like crazy and they changed that so so everyone you have to really figure out what you want to do for your mech builds and practice them because it will change the whole dynamic of the landscape of the battle now because no longer will you just go. I'm going to fire a crap load of missiles. No, it's going to take longer. You're going to do. It's going to take. It's going to take a lot of stuff. And you have to specialize in what different types of things you want to have. Like say, I'll give a perfect example here. Okay. Okay. So so that was a hunchback. Let's go to the hunchback though. I want to get to that real quick. These are all my mechs, but I'll do I'll do a video of all my different mechs out there. As you see, I tear out like all the engines because I always like to just redo my stuff. So okay. So uh lm 10s blah, blah blah okay so let's go to skills okay i'm gonna go get just the missiles here and just go from there lrms let's get everything here i kind of like actually the, the skill tree it's not too bad i just have some issues with it i mean with everything you're gonna have some issues with the skill trees and how, how it works and like you know what's a better way to do it i mean i really don't like how you have to go through these different lines and everything like a like a web it should be like LRM cooldown, LRM spread, velocity, and range. And, you know, that's what it should be, but it's not. That's just kind of crappy. Now, with Artemis, though, you are going to be able to do some really cool things with that. In fact, I want to check that real quick. Load out. Okay, so Artemis. Did they actually change Ar Artemis? Okay, uh, it only takes one more slot. Ammunition is twice expensive. So I guess it didn't change, like, um, a lock time boost, 50%, tracking strength, 50%, and missile spread, 66%. So if, if you are using a missile-type mech, you definitely want to have Artemis, because that missile spread is going to be 66%, and then also you get your bonus of the spread of 10. So we 76%, so very pinpoint damage, like, on that as well. So you're looking at, um, I get an increase in range, which is kind of nice. Um, the spread, which is beautiful, so that's negative 10%. Uh, the velocity, which is uh, 20%, and the cooldown, which is 5%. So that adds, so that will be an extra that will, I think it's like 35% now. So it's 35% for the LRM tens to be doing like what it is. But I don't have to be stuck to the LRM tens. I could use 5, 10s, 15s, or 20s, or whatever I want to. But mainly I'll just use LRM tens because that's what it's kind of designed for. So, like I said, just take out your pills it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy my friend it's crazy okay so you're good and bad you're gonna have some good things you have some bad things i mean the cool thing is you're gonna have a lot more more things to go and do since i only use um medium lasers like with this thing i'll just probably just gonna get laser durations and just get all these different things here 
I'll just get the whole tree basically and then work my way to get maybe um, survivability because you know, I want to be a kind of a tanky type thing and oh, I'll show you what survivability does too by the way Let's go here okay so and right now I got all these different like durations so all the standards and ER large lasers um, like large lasers have extra things for so apply changes here uh, spending money like like candy man that's crazy crazy okay so so in essence right now the mech has front 12 uh for the right torso and, and that's it so when you do um survivability this will be kind of like one thing when you do your designs for mechs okay scuttle density i just don't not what the hell am i use ams for i don't need that worst type of mech and fall damage this is kind of like what pisses me off about this type of design and i hope they change it like before then because you know i mean i'll make a mech with fall damage don't get me wrong if i have a design or some type of thing i want to do for it that'll be no problem that'll be great actually so okay so the armor hardening i get everything so the only thing i had was plus 14. now with all the armor hardening i get um i get an extra i get 22 there i get one rear two head eight one six so i get extra points that's what the armor hardening does and the skeletal i don't know what the skeletal structure does exactly but the armor hardening gives you actually more armor for your mech itself so that's good so that's kind of like what that does for that so in essence the mechs will be better but you're going to lose i think a lot on cooldowns okay so so let's go look at the atlas ddc okay <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. atlas dcc Jeez. Atlas. Okay, so so in essence, what the Atlas got before was ballistic velocity 10%, cooldown 5%, energy cooldown 10%, laser duration negative 10%, missile velocity 10 plus 10%, and missile cooldown plus 5% or, or negative 5%. So let's look at the DDC here. Okay, so the ballistic velocity is going to stay the same. The energy cooldown is going to stay the same. Well, that's kind of nice. First we got, and that's it. That's so they lose the missile cooldown, the missile um, velocity, and laser and laser duration of negative ten percent. But they, you know, they have all the different other things. I'm not gonna get into the base structures of like I'll get that to another video. But this is just weapon wise. So, so in essence, you're gonna lose some stuff. But like I said, you're gonna gain some stuff too. So let's go ahead and um, I think I yeah I do have one of these guys. You know, I got the Atlas and I sat there for a long time, played it for a little bit, and it's like I don't like it. I'm not a salt guy. I'm definitely not a salt guy. <laughs> Let's see here. Go home there. Yeah, I'm definitely not a salt guy. I just can tell you that. You know, I do have a lot of salts. I mean, I got the Kodiak, which is kind of fun to play, but it's like the easy button with the ballistics. Uh, the Marauders are kind of cool. You know, I, I had fun with those. They're not too bad. I play with these a little bit, not too much. And then the Crabs are kind of fun, too. I play with those. And the Highlander, it's it was okay. So let's go to there. Okay, so loadout. I have nothing there basically so let's go to so in essence you can actually increase everything you have and be even better so like I said so I'm not gonna get into like into the differences like on that because you just saw exactly what you can go and do overall your mechs will be better um, as far as what you can do with them it's cool you're gonna I, I think overall though everyone's gonna lose cooldown on the really cool things like the Locust 1v and the Centurion uh, D as well you're gonna lose a lot of different things like that. So you have to understand you gotta you gotta um, change your battle tactics. Um, if you're used to you know like the Locust One V, I normally just run behind the corner, hit, hit, run back, run, hit, run back. It's really fast, and and I could hit with a large pulse laser or ER large laser really quickly and do my damage and get away. You're gonna have to change your tactics. You're gonna have to do different things for that. So that's one of the things kind of like you wanna um, think about when you're doing your builds or later on. So. I don't know. That's that's kind of like what I've noticed. I, I've done some research like into that, and I'm gonna. I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do for builds yet. I just gotta sit down and really blow through a bunch of different things. It's gonna be murder. But uh, but you will see a lot of cool builds come out from different people. Um, Boris um, Boris is a uh, um, really cool guy. He has some really cool builds to let you know. I'll uh, leave a link uh, down down below. He's also on my channel as far as friends of uh, old Bob. Really cool guy, and actually he does some pretty cool stuff. Like as far as builds, uh, builds wise, Snuggles time, awesome guy to go figure out some really weird builds, but kind of fun. He's you know, a really cool guy too. Lars should be coming out some builds as well. Uh, Lars the Casual Mech Warrior. All these people, you just go ahead and check out Molten Metal, 
really cool guy, really cool guy uh, there, Majestic, Blackhawk SC. All these guys have some really good builds, so check out everyone. Get a good build that, that fits free and change it about. And if you have any build suggestions, leave, leave them down below. I'll, I'll get to them. And if you have builds that you want me to go play, I'll play them. Um, and I, I do a lot of lore builds with personality and the lore builds. But it's going to be hard now because <clears throat> everything's going to cost like an arm and leg. So it might not be every week. It might be every two weeks because I have to get the money to get the mech and get the build done and all that kind of stuff. So that's going to be uh, that's gonna be an issue that I'm going to be getting to, getting like into. But... Um, yeah, I do normally like lore builds, but I do a lot of other stuff too. So if you have lore build or, or a build in general, you want me to go check out. Like uh, I've been, <laughs> uh, Black Dragon Ash has been trying to get me to do uh, the Rainbow Mech, which is a Hellbringer loyalty mech, and uh, I haven't got around to it. But I will get to it. I will get to it, man. Just bound. There's so much going on now. It's crazy. So. Those are the differences on the mechs. I do appreciate you guys like watching. Check out uh, my Patreon page. Check out um, my my um, uh, do check out my Twitter page. If you want to keep up to date with everything that goes on with Old Bob, check out the Twitter page because I do keep up to date uh, all different things I'm doing, um, what's coming out, and all that kind of stuff, and when's coming out, and everything. So check out the Twitter page. Links are down below. I do appreciate it. you guys. Have a good night, and I'll see you on the battlefield. <laughs>